What's going on guys, County Gains back here again with another reaction to India. So today we have a video called 15 things you didn't know about India. So this one should be absolutely fire. I've reacted to a lot of different Indian artists, rap artists, you know, pop musicians, all that kind of thing. So this one should be crazy guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Tell me down below what you guys think. This is gonna be called Irish Guy Reacts to Indian Facts. So let's get it. Fifteen things you didn't know about India. Let's go. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to another fascinating video. Today, we're looking at an incredible facts you didn't know about the seventh largest country in the world, the India. With a population of over a billion people, India is one of the most influential and powerful countries in the world. Its cultural history is particularly complex and detailed, spanning 4,500 years of predominantly Hindu philosophy and theology. Thousands of years later, modern India is profoundly different, with its own colossal film industry, a diverse population, and an astonishingly big workforce. Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most interesting countries and destinations, we couldn't wait to bring you 15 things you didn't know about India. Let's get it. Number one, <laughs> Bollywood Bollywood's one. highest grossing film made 27 times more than Hollywood's highest gross. Whoa, it made 30 times more than Hollywood's highest grossing film. What? I'm going to be reacting to loads of Indian stuff, guys. Like I said, I react to loads of Indian movies, Indian rap music. This is crazy. Film. For every Whoa. 600 films Hollywood produces, Bollywood will make 1,000. They're the most profitable films, too, when you compare the numbers. Hollywood's highest grossing film was 2009's Avatar, which made $2.8 billion at the box office. In stark contrast, the Bollywood film Three Idiots brought in $76.81 billion. <laughs> now that's a profit. Three Idiots. That sounds like... Yo... Three Idiots sounds absolutely hilarious. I'm going to watch that, guys. That sounds absolutely hilarious. Number two. Shampoo was invented in the 16th century, India. Derived from the Sanskrit champu, which means massage, the concept of shampooing was invented in India in the 16th century. Herbs and natural ingredients were used then rather than today's combination of modern chemicals and fragrances. In particular, gooseberry. Sap Hindus and I love gooseberry. It's so good for you guys. Amla powder. I drink amla powder. It has the highest antioxidant, you know, concentration in the entire world. I love it. Fruit pulp. When colonial visitors came to India, they brought the practice of shampooing and hair washing back with them to Europe. The old British, the pesky British guys, when they invaded Ireland back 700, 800 years ago, guys. They stole all our potatoes and they stole everything from us, guys. But, you know, it's all good as well. Because nowadays, you know, we have a free, sovereign country. So, so does India. So, it's all good. Number three. Diamonds were first mined in India and it was the world's greatest producer. India was the most productive diamond mining country in the world until diamonds were found in Brazil in the 18th century. Oh. There are now three active diamond mines in India, and the three, that's a lot. I believe the, the three biggest are South Africa and Brazil and India. Famous Kohinoor diamond was found in the 13th century. The 793 carat stone went from person to person and was eventually acquired by Queen Victoria during the British Raj in India. Ugh, of course. Number four. Elephants in Kerala can treat themselves to a spa day. What? Puna Thor Kata Ele Oh, let me tell you something. Elephants in Dublin can treat themselves to a spa day if you get my drift, guys. <laughs> the few elephants walk around the place as well, guys. Except they ain't, you know what I mean, they ain't in the zoo, guys, they're just in the streets. Elephant Yard Rejuvenation Center provides elephants with baths, massages, and soothing pamper sessions. Damn. The spa caters to 59 clients and is a way of giving back to the sacred animal. Elephants play an important role in Kerala's temple processions and are a significant feature of the region, so they deserve a massage every now and then. Wow, I love it. I love it. Number five. The largest religious gathering in India can be seen from space. 
Kumbh Mela is a Hindu pilgrimage which takes people to the banks of the Ganges every 12 years. The major event involves ritualistic bathing, devotional singing, religious discussion, and feeding the poor. The attendance figures had to be capped at 75 million, making it the largest pilgrimage on earth. Do is naked. Number 6. Ancient Indian civilization is the oldest in the world. Whoa. We often look to ancient Greece and ancient Egypt, but Indian civilization dates back to 2400 BC, <sighs> when it was split into 16 monarchies That's known crazy. as the Mahajanapadas. There are even authenticated human remains that date back to 30,000 years in South Asia. Dude. The oldest Hindu texts were written between 2000 and 500 BC, as well as the first texts on science, medicine, and astronomy. Nice. We actually owe the number zero to Indian mathematics, who created the concept. Wow. We don't really have ancient history in Ireland. A little bit, guys. We have like the, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, the Dark Ages that type of thing but we don't have like a super long history in Ireland like the Celts came in like what the 15th century or some shit like that the 12th century or something and then that's about it number seven India is home to every major world religion and doesn't have a national language Hinduism so Ireland's national language obviously is Irish but we don't really speak it in India they speak like five different languages them Christianity Buddhism Islam and Sikhism all have a place in Indian society with the most dominant being Hinduism and Islam mm. covering 80 percent and 14 percent of the population respectively Judaism has existed in India for the last 2215 years and some of these smaller religions also featured including Jain Zoroastrian and Baha'i. India also doesn't have a single national language because 1,652 dialects are spoken across the different regions. Oh. Number 8. A polling station is set up for just one voter in Gear Forest at every election. Every election, Marant Barandas de Shandas gets his local polling station entirely to himself <laughs> because he's the only resident of Gear Forest. That's awesome. He's been voting in Indian elections since 2004 and never misses one now that he has his own personal polling station. Chill. Mahant is the caretaker for the one temple in the forest in Gujarat, a home chill. he shares with the rare Asiatic lion. Whoa. To get eaten by if you're lion. a PC sick of posting so on Instagram all day. He's just chilling on his own. That's a good gig he has going on there, guys. That's a really good gig. Number nine. The Indian government has used scaffolding to hide the Taj Mahal when airstrikes are predicted. Huh. During the Second World War and the Indian-Pakistan Wars, scaffolding was put up around the distinctive domes of the Taj Mahal to make it less obvious from above. Huh. They feared strikes by the Japanese Air Force during World War II, so hid their most famous landmark. More recent threats to the Taj Mahal include the rising levels of the Yamuna River, which has cracked the tomb underneath the structure. There have been predictions that the tombs could collapse at any time. Jesus. Check out our video, 15 Most Expensive Man-Made Attractions in the World, to find out what ranks along the stunning Taj Mahal. We have the Cliffs of Moher. That's probably one of the most stunning things in the entire world, guys. They're like 3,000 meters tall or 3,000 feet tall or whatever. And they're humongous guys, but they were man-made. They weren't, or they're not man-made. They're obviously made by nature. So, but they're one of the seven, I, they're not one of the seven wonders of the world, but they should be up there. Number 10. Indians invented navigation, yoga, the world's cheapest car, Whoa. and thorium-based nuclear power. Whoa. Indian society can take credit for some of the most important inventions in the world. They were the first to create the concept of navigation That's over 6,000 years ago using That's rivers and seas. Yoga was created 5,000 years ago and has roots in Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Jainism. The world's cheapest car, the Tata Nano, which costs around 100,000 rupees, the equivalent of $1,400. That's and fast. India is the home of the first next generation thorium reactor. What the, hell is that? the country is aiming to produce 30% of its electrical power with thorium by 2050. Whoa. Number 11. In Ireland, guys, we invented submarines. Not submarine sandwiches for you fat asses out there in America. Submarines as in like the things that hold, like the kind of sausage shaped, shaped um, boats that fly underneath the water. You can stay at the former Indian royal residence for $88,000 a night. 
If you want to stay at the lap of luxury, forget Paris and forget Dubai. India is the, Mr. Beast did that. the home of the most stunning palaces in the world. Jeez. Once the home of the Maharajas, there are opulent palaces throughout the country with some dating back hundreds of years. The Kumarakam Lake Resort hosted Prince Charles's 65th birthday, Ooh, and the 450-year-old Samod Palace in Jaipur has hosted famous faces from all over the world. Wow. Incredible. Number 12. King Jai Singh of Alwar snubbed Rolls-Royce in the best possible way. India has a long and colorful history of quirky monarchies and extravagant kings and queens. The king of Alwar in northeast India was insulted by a Rolls-Royce salesman when he visited a showroom in London. A very proud man, he ordered a whole fleet of Rolls-Royce cars and gave them to the city's waste department so they could use them to transport rubbish throughout the city. Dude, that's crazy. What a match. Number 13. One Basically million Indians are Rolls -Royce, like, worthless, like. millionaires. India has one of the most dramatic wealth gaps in the world, with 35% of the country living below the poverty line. Yeah. Those who live way above it live a very different kind of life. Yeah, I bet. Like, in Ireland, I think it's, like, the same, guys. We have, like, a kind of a middle class, big middle class, but it's mostly, like, super rich and, like, kind of, like, people that are kind of hovering around middle class and, and, you know, lower middle class. The richest Indian in the world is Mukesh Ambani, who has a net worth of $53 billion. The 59-year-old made his money in the oil and gas industry, and his billion-dollar home recently made headlines because he chose to build a 27-story skyscraper instead of a sprawling mansion. What? Number 14. The first account of plastic surgery was found in an ancient Sanskrit text. One of the first medical texts was the Sushruta Samhita, which can be dated back to the 6th century CE. It's one of the very first examples of a medical text and discusses surgery, incisions, skin grafts, and nose reconstruction. Britain's first nose job wouldn't be performed until 1814, a worrying 80 years before the Sushruta Samhita would be translated. Number 15. One of India's most extravagant weddings caused controversy because it was too extravagant. Oh. Lasting five days and costing $74 million, what? the wedding of the daughter of a prominent businessman made headlines in 2016 for all the wrong reasons. The $2.5 million wedding sari, Bollywood royalty in attendance, and gold Bangalore palace setting was denounced as an obscene display of wealth. I love Millions India. of Indians live in poverty, so the wedding was criticized for being in poor taste. Oh. There are many stereotypical images of India, but there's so much more to this incredible country than many of us know. The center of many industries and the world's biggest democracy, India has influenced art, literature, science, and medicine potentially more than any other nation. If you guys. could take a trip to this beautiful, fascinating country, where would you find yourself? In a gorgeous Maharaja's palace, surrounded by palm trees and rural countryside, or a modern apartment in the thick of busy Mumbai? I'd love to go to Mumbai. I will one day. I will one day. That's incredible. I love seeing different places, guys. I'm a big traveler, but not right now, guys. Not right now. I'm just going to get my money first. But, yo, this is fire, guys. India is an amazing country. Never knew that about India, guys. If there's any Indians living in Ireland, man, please drop a comment down below. I absolutely love India, man. I will go there one day. I love you guys all. Tell me where to go, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.